Hi there. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can create a draft email via Power Automate. So traditionally, if you're creating an email in Power Automate, you would use the send an email action. And of course, by using that send an email action, that email would be generated and sent there and then. With this particular example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking advantage of a graph API action and we will be able to construct a draft email, save that into the drafts folder of your Outlook mailbox, and then of course, in our own time, go into that draft folder, make any changes to that email, and then hit the send button. So it's partially automated and then partially manual, but it allows you, of course, to make any changes to that email before it's actually then sent out. So if we jump into uh, the Microsoft documentation here, we're going to use the graph API, as I mentioned earlier, and there is this action called create message. And I will put a link to this documentation in the description. But uh, if we scroll further down, we can see that there are examples. And the first particular example is how to create a message draft using a JSON format. So what we'll be doing is we'll be copying this JSON you see here, and then just populating some of the important fields, like the subject, the importance, the body and the two recipients and of course that will then be pulled across into the draft email that we create. Now I mentioned we'll be creating a draft just in case anyone's still not sure what I'll be doing. I'm in my Outlook mailbox here. I have a drafts folder. If you were creating a message in your own mailbox right now and then decided not to send it you'd be asked do you want to save as a draft. So we'll be creating a draft email in here rather than using the send an email action. So if I now jump into Power Automate, I have a manual trigger at the moment for the beginning of my flow, but equally you could use um, when a form response is, is received for Microsoft Forms. Maybe you want to respond to each of your uh, participants of a Microsoft Form, but equally maybe you want to trigger a new draft email from a Microsoft List, in which case you could pull different uh, columns of metadata from your SharePoint list and construct a draft email. But the first action from, for this particular solution here, uh, and I say the first, it's really the only, is to go and get an action for constructing the graph call. So I'm going to new action and I'll type in graph and we'll see here we have the Office 365 groups group come up. So if I click on that, that'll give us our group of actions. And the particular action I'm looking to use is send an HTTP request, which currently is in preview, but uh, hopefully in time it will become general release. So if we now look at the parameters that we're able to complete here, we have the URI, which is the endpoint of the graph API. So if we jump back onto our create message instructions here on the Microsoft site, this here is the URI that we're looking for. So if I just highlight, I can copy it with a control and C, I can go back into my flow and I can paste it in. The next important thing is the method. So again, if we have a look here, we can see in capitals we have post. So we want to change this method to a post. And then finally, we need to provide that body. So if we go back here again, and now if we copy the JSON that we see here, control C it, and back into our flow, we can control V it. And I'm just gonna go make some changes now to the likes of the subject and the body. So this is my draft email from flow. That could be our subject line. And uh, I'm going to change the content of my email just to say this was generated, generated from Power Automate. And then our email address I'm looking to send to is my ideas at demobird365.com. So if anyone has any ideas, um, they're looking for help with a solution or any ideas for any future videos, feel free to drop me an email at ideas at demobird365.com. Um, and uh, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the save button and we are going to hit the test. So all we're expecting from this is a draft email. So if I go and put it into manual mode, I hit the test, wait for it to save there, hit continue, run the flow, and all being well, 
it's completed and if I jump across into my email you can see now I have a draft email in my Outlook mailbox. So I can go ahead and open that up. You can see here it's got my email address that I'm sending to. I have my subject for my draft email from Flow. And of course, this was generated from Power Automate. And I can make any changes to that, like so. Here are some changes. And go ahead and hit send. And of course, that's the email now sent. So there is an example of how to create a draft email from Power Automate. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we could use this from a Microsoft form response or indeed from a, a Microsoft list. I'm eager to hear what other ideas you might have for this particular solution. And as always, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and hope to see you again sometime soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.